Welcome to the short presentation about the DACIC Service Insights. DACIC Service Insights is a statistics tool that we have made available for you to check in detail the utilization and usage of your DACIC's peering service. We have built this into our customer portal so you can have all the information readily available from the moment you log in. There are two views to the DACIC Service Insights. The global peer view, which allows you to see your total traffic usage, and the traffic relationships view, which gives you information about with which other DACIX participants you are exchanging traffic. For both views, you can select between either bits per second or packets per second to analyze your traffic. You can also filter your results by IPv4, IPv6, or both. All of this is currently available at our sites in Frankfurt and New York. Other sites will be added in the future. Here you can see how the DACIC Service Insight system is built. We utilize several systems to collect, analyze, and reduce usage data from our DACIC Apollon Edge devices. In Frankfurt, six Edge devices are sampling data every 10,000th flow. This results in a peak time of 10,000 packages per second. The flow data is collected by PMAC and converted into JSON files. For five minutes worth of data, we collect roughly 1.5 gigabytes of data. PM Act adds some extra customer related information to the data and forwards it to our Elasticsearch cluster, which collects about 600 gigabytes per day. The data is stored in detail for one week, which requires 4.2 terabytes of storage before it is reduced to a more dense week view, which only requires 150 gigabytes of data. After four weeks, the data is once again reduced into a monthly view of approximately 600 gigabytes of data. All of this data can be viewed and is only available through the front-end GUI. We will now go into detail on how the data is processed. As mentioned on the previous slide, the data is first processed by PMACT, an open-source solution which is actively developed and provides high performance. We chose PMACT after evaluating a number of commercial solutions and found that none fully met our requirements. We have even sponsored some needed enhancements to improve the PMACT system. Our devices export sampled flow data after every 10,000th flow into the PMAC system, where the data is then processed and extra customer related information is added before it is then exported into a JSON file. PMAC has now exported the JSON file and sends it to the Elasticsearch server for further processing. Elasticsearch is a NoSQL search engine used for real time analytics and big text searches. We focus on the use of real time analytics. The advantages of using Elasticsearch as a database is the support of distribution and it can scale easily by adding additional nodes to the, to the cluster when required. We are currently utilizing 11 nodes, 9 for storage and indexing, and the remaining 2 for queries and aggregations. After the processing of the flow data and saving it into the Elasticsearch database, it is, then becomes accessible in the DKIX customer portal. As I said before, the data is aggregated after one week and then reduced further after one month. The data held for a week holds information from every five minutes. After a week, it is then converted into hourly data, which is safe for a month, after which it is finally converted into daily data and stored for several years. It is important to note that any analysis of a DDoS attack is best done within a week of the attack before the data becomes less accurate due to aggregation. As you can see in the picture, we have two different views to choose from, the bits per second or the packets per second, including the option to choose between IPv4, IPv6, or both, and a comparison of up to five peers. To summarize, the hardware we use to analyze and process a 5.5 terabit internet exchange is a total of 132 CPU cores, 1.4 terabytes of RAM, and 54 terabytes of SSD storage. When the need comes to expand, all we have to do is add more nodes to the Elasticsearch cluster. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation. If you have more questions, then feel free to contact us at support at dkix.net.